Bloomington dealing with another mumps outbreak on campus. Good evening, I'm Mike Bars. And I'm Kylie Conway. Three more students caught the virus over the weekend. That means six students have now tested positive for the virus since February. Wish TV's Jenny Dreisler joins us live from campus tonight. And Jenny, what are campus officials telling students to do now? Well, you know, Mike and Kylie, campus officials obviously taking this very seriously. Those infected in quarantine tonight as campus officials are urging any student who shows signs or simply doesn't feel well to go to the campus health center or simply to stay home. Tonight, students on campus are left to wonder what more can be done to prevent this outbreak from getting any worse. Students at IU Bloomington. We could go to like Buffalo Louis, which is a really popular spot around here. Concerned about the most recent mumps outbreak on campus. It makes me feel scary for the um, students that have not got their vaccine and that the ones that are exposed to that and then that could cause a lot of health risks. With six cases of mumps reported in the past two months, some students fear the problem is only getting worse. It's really insane. I can't believe that there's that many people that have already like, contracted months. Of those infected with the virus since February, one is an international student, meaning the rest who came down with the mumps are from right here in the States. Another case is that of a male student who lives in a fraternity house on campus. The virus found in close quarters like that has students on alert. Like classrooms and cafeteria areas probably makes me a bit uncomfortable. According to the CDC, symptoms of mumps include puffy cheeks and a tender swollen jaw, fever, headache, muscle ache, tiredness, and loss of appetite. IU Bloomington spokesperson Chuck Carney says the university had another outbreak similar to this a few years ago, but says this one is even more concerning. I believe that all of them have been documented to have the MMR, uh, so it's not impossible to get it if you've had it. Carney says the university requires proof of the MMR vaccine by second semester freshman year and says the university is doing all that it can to prevent the outbreak from getting any worse. Close contacts have been provided access to a free MMR vaccine just so they could be uh, have an extra boost of immunity and in this time when the disease is communicable. Now, mumps is spread through close contact of an infected person, so coughing, sneezing, even kissing, eating or drinking after somebody who's infected. Health officials on campus urging students not to do that. By the way, campus says it will not be offering a campus-wide MMR vaccine clinic. It'll only do that if this outbreak gets any worse. Live in Bloomington, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.